draw the shear and moment diagrams for the beam shown in the figure. So in here, um, I'm just uh, in here I am going to show how to draw the shear and moment diagram using the shear and moment function and then using the area method. So first thing that we are going to do is to compute for the reaction that the supports. So we have here for point A, we have two reactions, of course, the AY and the AX. But in this case, AX is equal to zero. Then at point B here, you have the BY. Now, for this loading condition, we have the resultant of the load can be found at one third two third so it's one third of nine from point b so that's three and two third of nine from point a and that's six so this is the location of the centroid where the resultant of the load is acting so what is the magnitude of the resultant of the load so it is the area of the load diagram so we have here one half the length is 9 and the height is 20 so we have here 90 kilo newton now if we are going to solve for the value of ay what we are going to do is to summate moment at point b taking the clockwise direction as positive therefore we would have here ay which would rotate clockwise is positive multiplied by the distance 9 minus the load 90 which would rotate counterclockwise and therefore it is negative and the moment arm of 3 is equal to 0 so therefore competing for the value of ay that would give us 30 kilo newton and since we have the positive answer, meaning the assumption which AY is upward is correct. Now, if we are going to summate the forces vertical is equal to zero, taking the upward direction as positive, then we would have here the AY minus 90 plus BY is equal to zero. So, since AY is equal to 30 minus 90, plus by is equal to zero therefore we have here by is equal to 60 kilonewton upward since positive yung lumabas na sagot our ay is equal to 30 kilonewton and the by equal to 60 kilonewton now if we are going to cut this here this would be our distance x so for the segment a b that segment a b would be from 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 9 now, so we have this figure here then this is distance x and we call this as y and we have the reaction here ay is equal to 30. now in solving for the value of y if this is y this is 20 so by ratio and proportion we will have here y this is 20 this is x and this is 9. so using the ratio and proportion we have here x is to y, 9 is to 20. So meaning, your y is just equal to 20x over 9. So this y here is 20x over 9. Now, we would have this resultant here as r. So solving for the value of r, it is just equal to the area of the load diagram which is just one half of x and y but y is 20 x over 9 so we have here one half x your y is 20 x over 9 so we have here r is equal to 10 x squared over 9 so for the shear function we have 
since we have here the shear and we have the moment. So the shear is equal to 30 minus R. But R is 10 x squared over 9. Now, since our segment here is from 0 to 9, so at x is equal to 0, therefore your shear at 0 is equal to 30. At x is equal to 9, the shear at 9, and as you can see here, we have the equation 30 minus 10 x squared over 9 so if x is 0 we have the shear is 30 and if x is equal to 9 therefore the shear is negative 60 so we have here negative 60 now the advantage of having the shear function is we will be able to compute for any value of the shear between 0 to 9. Per se, I would like to know what is the value of the shear at x is equal to 5. So just kn5 and you have 20 over 9. So that's 2.222. And if I am going to determine the value of the shear at 7.5, then calc 7.5 then you have here 32 negative 32.5 so any value of x between 0 to 9 you know, you just substitute it to the equation and you have your shear so this is the advantage of using the shear and moment function you know, instead of using the area method so so although see area method I Sa, in some cases, ay mas madali siyang gawin kaysa dito, no? So, but still, itong solution na to is much powerful kasi mas marami siyang masasolves na value. No, although si, si ano naman, si area method naman, para makapag-solve ka, maraming ratio and proportion ang ginagawa para makapag-determine ka ng value ng shear at any point. So, kung kukuha ka ng value sa x sub 1, no, so, ratio and proportion, and x sub 2, another ratio and proportion, well, in here, just substitute the value and you have your shear. Okay. How about the moment? For the moment, we have here, moment is equal to so 30 would create clockwise. We are taking the moment here at the cutting section. So 30 times x and that's clockwise. So it's positive. Minus our resultant x squared. 10 x squared over 9 multiplied by the distance. Now since this is triangle, the location of the centroid is one third of x. So this distance here is x over 3. So, multiplied by x over 3. So, we have here our moment, 30x minus 10x cubed over 27. Now, at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 9. So, in here, kapag x is equal to 0, moment is equal to 0. Now, Ngayon, kung titignan natin, uh, so solve natin yung x is equal to 9. So, we have here 30x minus 10 x cubed over 27. So, if x is equal to 9, therefore, your moment is also equal to 0. How are we going to find the value of the maximum moment so we know that the maximum moment can be found at the location of zero shear so if shear is equal to zero then what would be the value of x if shear is equal to zero so we have here zero is equal to 30 minus 10 x squared over 9 so we solve for the value of x and solving for the value of x then we have here 0 is equal to 30 minus 
10 x squared over 9 and shift solve equals I would have 5.20 so meaning the zero shear can be found at x is equal to 5.20 now if x is equal to 5.20 that would be the location of the maximum moment. Now, let's substitute 5.20 from the equation of the moment. So, we have 30x minus 10 x cubed over 27. Call 5.20. And that is equal to 103.92. So meaning we have the maximum moment of 103.92 kilonewton meter. And for the shear, we have here kilonewton. If we are going to draw the shear diagram, as you can see here, at x is equal to 0, the shear is equal to 30. So we have here 30. Then, at x is equal to 30. And as you can see here, we have a triang triangle here. So, meaning this is degree 1. We are expecting, now as you can see here, our equation is equation of a parabola. So we have this parabolic curve. No. So this location where the shear is equal to zero is equal to 5.20 as computed here. So this would be the shear diagram. Now for the moment diagram, we have the location of the zero shear is the location of the maximum moment and as you can see here we have this equation cube no so we remember the dyix and as you can see here we have the decreasing load here so we bend the y-axis so we knew this would be the curvature and if this curve here is degree two curve then this curve here is n plus 1, so that's degree 3 curve. And at x is equal to 9, we have the moment equal to 0. And this is increasing, so we bend the x-axis and this is our curvature. And of course, this curve is also a degree 3 curve. And this is our moment diagram.